In this question, we have a sample that contains 69.0 grams of ammonia, NH3. Our goal is to figure out how many moles are in the sample. To do that, we're first going to need to find the molar mass. So let's go ahead and use our periodic table to find the molar mass of nitrogen and hydrogen, which are our two ingredients for ammonia. So here's nitrogen. And here's hydrogen. And we're looking at the relative atomic mass, which is that bottom number in the square. So hydrogen has a relative atomic mass of 1.01. .01. Nitrogen has a relative atomic mass of 14.01. .01. So we've got 14.01 .01 nitrogen and 1.01 .01 for hydrogen. OK. Next, we're looking at the number of atoms in the compound. We have one nitrogen and three hydrogens in NH3. So we've got one nitrogen and three hydrogens. Our next step is to find out the total molar mass of that element in the compound. So we have one set of nitrogen and three sets of hydrogen. So multiplying each of those out, the total molar mass of nitrogen in the compound is just going to be 14.01, because that's what the molar mass of one is, and we've only got one of them. For hydrogen, however, we have 3 of 1.01, .01, so that's going to be 3 times 1.01, .01, which is 3.03. .03. And then to find our total molar mass of the entire molecule, we're going to add together these to get 17.03 grams per mole. So let's check that in our answer box here. 17.03 grams per mole. Wonderful. Okay, so there's our molar mass of ammonia. And remember, the molar mass tells us our conversion factor. So we had a molar mass equal to 17.03 grams per mole. What that means is that 17.03 grams of ammonia, NH3, is equal to one mole of ammonia. NH3. So that's going to be our conversion factor. And we're trying to get from grams into moles. So down in my conversion table, I've got grams in my question on the top. So I want to divide by grams to cancel those out. And I want to end up with moles. So that's going to be on the top. Then putting in my conversion factor, I've got one mole of NH3 is equal to 17.03 grams of NH3. Wonderful. So all we need to do now is multiply everything on the top, divide by everything on the bottom, cancel out units that are the same top and bottom, so that's grams here, and we're left with 69.0 multiplied by 1 divided by 17, and that's all moles. So putting that into our calculator, we end up with 4.05 moles. So these questions combine the previous skill, which is finding the molar mass, with the previous three skills we've been doing, where we're converting between moles and mass for different compounds. So it's exactly the same as what we've done already, but we're just putting that together into two steps.